Ooh, somebody was having a better time than I was. Yes, sir, Bob, wild turkey. I guarantee you, <laughs> somebody who went to sleep, probably somebody watching nobody, that's my guess. Oh no, the lights over here aren't on like they usually are. It means I'm walking into darkness. Anyway, hey everybody, so this is uh, another episode of Steve's sketchy walk home from work. Yeah, the RV. I was here two nights ago and that RV that's been here for like almost a month is finally gone. I saw someone on my Facebook posted this thing that was like, you know, just because I'm coughing or sneezing doesn't mean I have COVID. So everybody stop looking at me or something like that. And like, I get it. People shouldn't be giving you rude looks. Like, how dare you go outside if you have anything resembling COVID symptoms? Because newsflash, COVID symptoms run the gamut pretty much. So I understand that people shouldn't be giving you dirty looks unless like you're like sneezing at people. But it was also that kind of thing like people need to not like react when people cough and sneeze. And I'm like, well, we're living in a pandemic world right now. So usually I would agree with you, but it's a whole other ball game right now. And if somebody is near me and starts coughing, I'm going to move away from them and I'm going to do it briskly in a way that they might, God forbid, notice. Like, I'm not going to apologize for abruptly departing from the vicinity of someone who appears to be sick. Yeah, they probably just have some random cold or whatever, or you know, some, some virus that isn't the virus, but like, I'm sorry. I'm not taking risks right now. And if I'm walking, you know, down the street and I start coughing a little bit and peop I see people like straying away from me, that doesn't bother me because I know why they're doing it. People are just so damn, like they just can't handle it. You know, they have to take everything so damn personal. Anyways, just me and two young lovers over there. Uh, yeah, four minutes. Huh? Oh no, sorry. <laughs> okay. What the fuck is going on over here? Okay, that's just. I've seen it all now. Where is this chick going? Okay, so yeah, so this guy just walked by me and offered to sell me his chainsaw, so I'm guessing he's probably in financial struggles. And the girl he was with that I just saw over here, that one that I called the two, like, young lovers, she started walking down the tracks here and then just hopped the fence. So she's walking along the freeway. I'm wondering if she's going to, like, panhandle along the exit ramp or something because the guy that was with her that walked by me, he offered to sell me his chainsaw. And, I mean, there's obviously a big homeless camp over here, so there's probably a lot of homeless people looking to make a buck like I, I don't know when a guy's just walking with a chainsaw and he offers to sell it to you he I question whether he actually owns it or not but yeah I got stressed for a second because the girl was literally walking down the middle of these tracks and the train's gonna be here in a couple of minutes and a couple years ago not at this stop but the whole gate which is the next stop down there was a guy who was like I think he was probably I don't know if he was drunk or drugged out. He was one or the other or both. And he literally was just sitting down, his like back against this, and his legs were just out on the tracks. And I see him, I look up and this like train's two minutes away and I'm like, oh, okay. I turn and look, the train is like pulling in. Like if the guy's sitting here, the train's like right here. And all of a sudden I'm like, hey, 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 buddy. And he's like completely incommunicado with me. And I literally had to grab him by the arm and say, hey, the train is a coming. I didn't say it really dramatically because I thought that might bewilder him. I tried to say it all chill, but still trying to, you know, get the guy to calmly stand up. And I literally had a reef on his arm to help pull him up to the platform. Literally by the time I actually got his feet off of here, like out of this area, the train was like, I don't know, 40 feet away. It was like just like right here. 
Okay, so now it was saying four minutes. Now it's saying 11. So it's still implying it's four minutes away. But yeah. Yeah, there was like an overhead wire thing earlier today. So I guess that's still being affected by it. So it's the times are not perfect. Just as long as that guy doesn't come back and actually use his chainsaw on me. I can handle the extra couple of minutes. You see... It's always fun. It's always fun. <laughs> Hanging out at your local Mac stop at the end of the day and just watching people go around and just seeing the things that happen while some of us are in bed. And I should be, of course, I try to because I really don't want to get on the Max train that has the weirdos on it, which usually there's going to be at least one on either train, so it really doesn't matter that much usually. So I kind of try to loiter in the middle of the platform so I can watch the first car go by and see if there's a lot of people or if there's like real crazy looking people and then go on because whenever I get off the max I always go this way to wrap around and walk home so I usually always get on the back car because it's a quicker way for me to get around the train car and home but I ain't getting on the backside train car if there's gonna be a bunch of loons on there guarantee you i'm only on the max for two stops we're talking three to four minutes uh but when there's a real loon on the max i mean it feels like you're on there forever you're just like all right just get to my stop don't don't make oh crap i just looked at him is he yeah he's he's walking over to me he thinks i'm his friend now there's no when you're on the max there's nowhere for you to go and i'll tell you what in this current pandemic some weirdo walks up to me Especially if they ain't got a mask on. I'm literally... I'll, I'll kick them in the fucking... I'll kick them in the stomach. I'll knock them to the ground. I'll pull something out and be like, get the F back from me. Like, I'm not messing around. I know the pandemic ain't that bad around here anymore, but it's still out there. And Like, don't come marching up to me. And then get surprised. Aha! The light turned orange. That means my train is officially coming around the bend. Hallelujah! Alright, what's the insanity gonna be like? Alright, well, this car has one person on it. Uh, this car looks like it has no persons on it. Yeah, that's the- oh man! <laughs> Somebody pulled this off to the side of the road, finally. Yeah, there's going to be another short video. Because I, uh, I had direct experience with that on my way to the max stop today. I'm going to put it together as a little video. The things you just randomly see as you're out in the world. Yes, UPS guy. As I come around the corner and I'm walking, there's this guy. Man, oh. <clears throat> there's another piece. Man, like weirdos are out in force. I don't know if they're trying to be weird, but... Yeah, this guy just pulled up on his bike and stopped right in front of me and he was just stay, staying there. Whew, and he put way too much cologne on. And I was just like, okay, you're in the you're in the shadow. You stop on your bike and you're just there staring at me from like 30 feet away. And I'm like, okay. Uh I'm gonna step over here then. Because I don't want to be in line with you. You're probably not wearing a mask. He was maybe wearing a mask. He was just his behavior was a little bizarre anyway. Apparently, what is that noise? I was thinking like it kind of sounds like a low flying helicopter, but it's not. It's not quite the, the right sound, but I don't know what that is. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, so the max ride was no issue. Oh, wait, maybe it is. You know what it could be? It could be like the flight for life helicopter. And it's like just taking off. Or no, or it's coming in. Nah. Oh boy, you are a loud one. Yeah, that's got to be the Flight for Life helicopter. Yeah, because he would theoretically... There's like, yeah, there's like helicopter landing pads on the other side of this building. Hope whoever they got in there is doing all right. It's always, you know, it's always potentially a rough situation when you got to bring those guys in. Man, what is... 
I don't even know why I'm trying to talk right now. But anyway, yeah, there's been, the last hour, there's been a lot of ambulance activity. When I was taking the last run out to our trash compactor, there was, I saw about three ambulances go by on Powell. I was just hearing sirens all over the place. Now I'm hearing you. So, yeah. A lot of random emergency personnel going out and about the last hour. So I hope that's not too bad. There's still so many random sticks and branches I've noticed just kind of scattered around town still from the big snowy ice storm that now happened a month and a half ago. There's still so many random sticks and branches just laying around. The small stuff that fell between that haven't gotten picked up because they're not a big enough nuisance for like the city to send people out or, a, you know, companies to come out and do it. So they're just being kind of left there. Guarantee you some of those branches won't move for months. They'll just lay there. It's all they're good for once they snap off. Here's a bit. This is actually a pretty big branch that snapped off. I don't know if that's from the storm though. That might just be another incident. Oh man. My uh, my right dog is starting to bark a little bit. Glad I'm almost home. I'm getting hungry again. I had a I mean I've had a decent number of calories, but I had I've started getting salads at Walmart for my meal because literally I've been doing kind of a mock, not intentionally. It's just get to work and start working and I realize, oh, I have to take my half now. I've been doing kind of a supersize, supersize me type thing, but with Jack in the Box. Not that I'm getting big orders, but just like my first like, you know, 12, 13 shifts, like all but maybe one of them, I went to Jack in the Box on my half and got fast food. And it's just, that is not healthy. So I've started getting like salads from Walmart for my primary meal and then getting, you know, a little something else with it. There's another siren uh, to make sure that, cause like salads and greens, they're good and all, but they don't give you a lot of calories and they don't make you feel fed. So you've got to kind of counter, at least me personally, I have to kind of counterbalance it with something else. So I get a little something else that's not too unhealthy, but will at least get me some calories. Cause I need the calories, you know, you need a certain amount of calories each day, but I also need the calories cause I'm gonna be burning them off while I'm doing my job. Oh boy, I got an eight hour shift tomorrow, but fortunately it's most, I, I'm, I'm the, uh, God, I keep forgetting what it's called. The multi-duty guy go around clean a lot of high tech you're pretty much just walking around cleaning the same stuff over and over again but we're probably gonna start getting real busy tomorrow and at least i don't have to worry about having to clean up auditoriums and stuff that's somebody else's problem i mean i didn't encounter anyone else you know recently so i think i'm all right we call it a day god what is the deal there have been so many sirens the last hour hour and a half what is going on in this city I'm wondering if some of them i don't know it sounds kind of like they're going off that way i was like wondering if we're gonna see some fly by but i don't think so i don't know now they're sounding like they're getting closer yeah, they're definitely getting closer. There's got to be at least one pass about to pass by. Yep, ambulance. Another ambulance. God. Look at the moon. Though. Look at that. That is insane looking. That's beautiful. I'm going to end on that. That is too beautiful of a view to not end on. With the light seeing some of the cherry blossoms blooming the moon poking its head out in the middle i love it anyway y'all have a good night see you later